What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. Today we're gonna to do a standard, uh, a standard little, I guess, a league, an, a tournament, an event here on Magic: The Gathering, the Arena. I don't think I think there was a, a I think there was a, an extra, an, an extra the in that, in that title. An erroneous e, the, an erroneous the, if you will. Talking is. It's painful at this point. At this juncture in, in, in the day, it's getting rough. Four Hero Pre-Saint 1, four Discovery Dispersal, four Thought Erasure, and also, as usual, the decklist will be in the description below. Four De De Deputy of Detention, two Dovin Grand Arbiter, four Mortify, three Thief of Sanity, four Basilica Bell Haunt, much to my surprise, three Seraph of the Scales, two Hostage Taker, two Lyra, and then a bunch of Sweetie Lands. Our sideboard is two duress, a disdainful stroke, three negates, one cast down, one moment, two consecrate consume. Okay. This is likely for our uh, carnage tyrant overlords. Two Vraska's contempt, two Karn, and one Ellis Reborn. It's interesting to see Vraska's contempt relegated solely to the sideboard, but here we are. Let me also update the deck list on stream real quick. So people who are actually it's probably in the deck master, isn't it? It'll probably tell you. So, the thing is, we can actually play, like, uh, how do I play, like, a constructed event? How do I play that on here? You got Sealed Ravnica, Ranked Corset, and Traditional. How do I just... I don't want to play Ranked, right? I want to play, like, a constructed event. Can I do that? And then I click it. Okay. Okay. So, what do we get? At seven wins, we get a thousand gold and three cards. Is there a better... Is this best of three? How do we do this? I want best of three. It's not a thing right now. How do I play with... How do I play... I want to play a game of Magic the Gathering. I want to play a standard game of Magic the Gathering. And I want it to have three rounds. Tell me Tell me where to go. And I will. I will go to do that. Traditional constructed is best of three. Where do I find this traditional constructed? There it is. What? Why do I have to like? If I flick this on, there's a different. All right, whatever. You know what? Is this? Is this? This is best of five. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. We did it. We did it. It was harder than I ever thought it would be to find, but here we are. Dude. Thank you, dude. 190 jemmies or 1,000 gold? Interesting. You turned on advanced mode. Unintentionally. I just kind of clicked things until it worked out. So, I don't know what to... What's, what currency... What currency is best to use for this, guys? And by by informing me, you're also informing YouTube as well. Oh, cool. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Just discover it right here. Yeah, let's discover it. Yeah. I feel like best of three is almost more confusing. Or best of one is more confusing because you're like, but I have a sideboard. Do I just... How do I even use this sideboard? I don't understand. Okay, gold is like play points. Gems are like ticks. That's... That's the best explanation. Always use gold. Fantastic. Done. All right, we're in it to win it, ladies and gentlemen. Can you guys see the deck on the deck master? Is that is that how is that another function of that of that app? Can you let me know? And otherwise, I'll just put it in Stream Decker. I got real excited about the Basilica Bell Haunt. I was like, dude, look, there it is. We have one land in our hand. It's magic. It's magic, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the magic show. Okay, we'll keep this. This is actually fine. Oh, fifth land. All right. At least we can go turn two this guy. Oh, into turn three that guy. All right. I have not played standard in a hot minute. It's been like four days, I think. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. 
Let's see what you got here, champ. Negate? I don't care about cast down. History is pretty obnoxious. Do you have do you have double white? Oh, you do. I actually almost care about history more. Because we go Dovin and you go history, it's pretty awkward for us. Whereas I'd rather just have a negate. Yeah, let's just take the history. Bottom. Oh, it's surveil. It's not it's not scry. Alright, yeah. I don't need a six land at this juncture. Hello everybody, I'm Evan Irwin and welcome to another show of the magic show. Hello everybody. Alright, so you have negate up, which we know. Yeah, I like that we can see all of these cards. This is great. I mean, I'm still just not going to wall sit it in the gate here. It doesn't seem great. Oh, Basilica Bell Haunt? That doesn't get negated. Well, we got white, white, black, black. Perfect. Or they get rid of Kaya's Wrath? They got to get rid of Kaya's Wrath, right? And that card seems like hot trash. Hot trash. Or they can get rid of a mystery card. Ooh. Okay, so they cast, cast down. Okay, so that's a one for one. Valtrex Pomegranate, have a good night, buddy. And they got rid of Kaya's Wrath. Okay, so we were correct. I feel like we're way ahead here. We could have played Lyra, but there's no real point to taking the two. Okay. Three unknowns. Well, we can still play Lyra next turn. Sure, next. All attacks. Oh, we actually could have slammed a Dove in here, but I think it's probably just better to play the Lyra. I mean, I, I don't know what your removal is, but like, Cast down doesn't do it. Knight of Malice? You got it. You got it. Does she have Vigilance? Does anyone have Vigilance? Is Vigilance a thing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Your loss will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. This is a 5-4 a lifelink flyer. I remember when we used to get the top card of our life. I remember when we used to get the top cards of our <laughs> I can't, oh my god. I can't pinpoint the words. Is that no woman no cry? Like I can't, I can't hear it. So seven, five. So no matter which two get through, Dovin is dead. So no blocks. You're not entirely can't be denied. And then they're like, I'll kill your Dovin and then I'll scoop. Okay. Um, I like duress here. I think I got the mortifies. Take out two mortifies. Take out Hostage Taker, even though you do have Lyra, but I think it's a little too slow. Bring in those two. Bring in one Negate and one Disdainful Stroke. I kind of like that. Yeah, I thought it was No Woman, No Cry. <laughs> I think your first comma's in a different place, because the thing is like, I remember when we, when we used to, I can't, I can't, I can't put the words to the lyrics, or the words to the music.
I don't like Mortify for history just because it's like, I mean, they've already gotten a token out of it. You know what I mean? Like, you're basically trading one, like, a card for a token. So I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm going to keep this because three thought erasure seems pretty good against this middle of the road. You've killed my... I don't think it's... No, no, no. I think the lyrics are great. I think it's actually... I think it. I think it... It's probably perfect. I just personally can't hear it. I just need a refresher on No Woman, No Cry. They're like, well, you're going to take all my stuff, so I might as well. Oh, another Thought Erasure. Okay, so we're going to have a Thought Erasure battle. Next turn, you're going to untap and play Negate. So I could probably just take Teferi. Yeah, I just want to take the Teferi here. Or the Argyle's Bloodfast. Because then they go Thought Erasure, take a Thought Erasure. If they don't, then we go Thought Erasure, they negate it, and then they Thought Erasure us for the last Thought Erasure. And then they keep the Teferi, so it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't want them to have Blood Fast, but I think we're actually... No, we need to land. No woman, no scry. That's actually very good. I'm a big fan of no woman, no scry. Yep. All right. So now we know three of your cards. So if you didn't play Bloodfast, we're just taking the Bloodfast or whatever else. Really? This is your pick? That's so weird. We still didn't hit a land. Mortify. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Bloodfast here. Uh, nope. You can go to the trash can as well. Where are my lands at? How many lands are in this deck? You're tearing my hand apart, Lisa! So now your hand is more, we know your whole hand, Mortify, Negate, and Knight of Malice. Sure. Okay, well, this is not. <laughs> Let's get rid of, what do we have here? We have literal all spells. We'll get rid of the Mortify. No, we don't need the fourth one. We need a land. There are eight cards in our graveyard. Out of four, 14 cards of our deck, we have seen two lands. Oh, thank God. This guy should actually give us... Uh, this guy should put us way ahead. Unless they top tick the Mortify here. It was a land. Wonderful. Uh, no blocks. You can't... You, it's cast, right? Okay, so we can't actually land here. Uh, I'll take the Mortify. That's actually gas. That's what's known as gasoline. Yeah, this this match is over. I was like, yeah, I don't know if you want to do that. That's nah, not where you want to be. Can't even, can't even play this fast enough. That'll do. That'll do. Well, that was quick. By the way, I never thought I'd pay 16 for a pair of underwear, but MeUndies is really that good, and I am addicted. Going to replace everything and be broke, but comfy. All thanks. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm really not just saying it. The MeUndies are super, super comfortable. Like, it's so, it's really nice to actually be sponsored by a product that you actually would wear and can actually honestly say this is super comfortable. These are really great. So be sure to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. B. 
because, well, that's how that works. Also, you can get a onesie, and onesies are super cool. Onesies are coming back, guys. If you need to wear a onesie, MeUndies has got you covered. Because it's literal clothing, so it's, it works on... It's a euphemism, but it works both ways, you know? It's a, it's clothing, so it's got you covered. This hand is great. You get 15% off, and you get 15% off. I'm going to play this Watery Grave into this Hero of Precinct 1. Does Meander off Meandies offer compression briefs? Because, yeah, apparently that's a thing. And when you really need them, you really need them. And I need I have no idea what that is, actually. There is a pic of someone wearing a onesie in the Discord, and it's actually pretty insane. Okay, so I guess this is literally the coolest deck in Standard, and that's why we're playing against multiple mono Esper decks over here. I mean, to be fair, like, I thought this deck was incredibly cool, so. An opponent controls and all of the so that player controls with the same. Oh, so we can actually get rid of this and it doesn't get our guy? That's a pretty cool distinction between uh, this and, det and Detention Sphere. Although we might just try to get rid of the Dovin Bon. Let's say no attacks. Sigh, target didn't either. <laughs> Alright, well, this is getting a little out of hand here. Behind the behind behind the eight ball here is that what people say? Or behind the eight ball. Uh, I don't. Yeah, no, no attacks. So if we get rid of this one, then ours comes back and we can get rid of something else. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Guys, I'm going to use my drops. I hope you don't mind. I feel like the, the majority of the length of this, this video so far has been us trying to figure out how to join the standard event. Beautiful. Did anything happen to this? No? So what we're going to do is we're going to detention sphere. Did they actually like plus it and... Oh, they just made, they made a bunch of guys. I got you. I got you. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this guy. We're just gonna get our guy back, and then we're gonna get rid of this guy. And then we're gonna play a land. And that'll do. Do we play land? We did good? Okay. Well, so that did a whole lot of nothing. Sure. I got lands for days. Thief of Sanity seems like it's going to be pretty good when they have no flyers here. As a pro and a player of other older formats, do you have a personal interest in the postmodern we've been hearing about, or do you think it will go to the frontier? Um, I, so I think my thing about modern is that there actually has to be something that bridges the gap at some point. Modern is like six, seven years old now, I think. And the reason modern was created was because there was nothing to bridge the gap between like legacy and standard, right? So you needed this like strong, 
this this format where people people felt like their cards were could, could still get use after standard, right? Like life after standard. Um. So eventually you get to a point where like there's still like the gap keeps wide. It's like the universe, right? The universe keeps expanding. So like the distance between two two objects in the universe just keeps getting farther and farther apart depending on how long how long of a time frame you're on. So it's basically the same as the universe in the sense that like yes, you'll probably need something else or else you're just going too much time is going to pass and uh you're going to have a format where it's not really the barrier of entry is too high. Nope, please don't use. Yeah, actually it's fine. How many cards do we have? How many lands? We have four lands. We have two white, two black. Oh man, I want to keep both of these on top, actually. Yeah, this is fine. We can keep both of these. I'm definitely going to just play uh, Thief of Sanity here, though. Magic is basically the same as the universe. Oh my god. I mean, they're both expanding at a, at a consistent rate, right? Every three months, magic expands, and the universe is expanding at a, at a rate. You got it. You can have my Basilica Bell Haunt. Say something witty so we can add quote 200. We'll get there. Just let it happen naturally. Wow, that was your last card. What do you get rid of? You get rid of this death. You gotta get rid of this one, right? Yep. Oh god. This is stupid. You have to get rid of you have to get rid of this, right? It's a hundred percent thief of sanity. Yeah, good work. Good work, my dude. Good work. God, the deputy of detention battles are pretty ridiculous. Came to watch Arena, got an astrophysics lesson instead. Well, you know, I like to, I like to keep the chat limber, you know. Well, they have two turns to really like draw something that deals with these double seraph of the scales, which are not legendary. So if they draw another Deputy of Detention here, I'm going to be real sad. Nope, don't want that there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I didn't know it was I didn't know it was my my moment to pass. Yikes. This is a yikes for me, dog. Let's pass to the blockers. Yeah, this is a reasonable way to... This is a reasonable thing to do. Okay, well, I feel like I'm ahead here. Ancient story. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Have a good night. What have you. Oof. So, we give Vigilance, Vigilance, and then we attack with both. Dovin goes up to five, and then they have not really great attacks. We have double blockers. We can block, we can chump block here. We also get another guy. So, we're going to go Vigilance. Which one has it? You? All right, so Vigilance. And next. 
Next. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely to fail. That's a good quote. Way to go, Dovin Bon. I'm sorry, wait, why didn't it go up? Did I not even activate it? I thought I I thought I did I not do it? I guess it doesn't matter. Who cares? I don't have time like I don't have time to activate planeswalkers, guys. Like I got things to do. This deck seems more like our deck. It's probably the same deck. So we're gonna bring in things like moment one moment of craving, one cast down. Elder Strip One seems bad. I mean, it probably helps when you activate his abilities, but I don't think it. I don't think it's necessary. I'm actually gonna bring in two Veraska's Contempt because I feel like if they have, getting rid of like a uh, deputy is probably pretty good. More like craptivated as abilities, am I right? You actually are right. That's actually a good point. I had not considered craptivating. Two lands? You know what? That's all I need. Where is the sheriff of detention? Why is he making the deputy do all the work? Well, you see, the sheriff was shot. But the deputy was not. You like how he brought it back around to the Bob Marley? God, it's all it's all a circle. Time is a circle is a flat circle. This is a pretty craftivating conversation. How dare you? How dare you? You got it, my dude. Don't take my hero pre Saint One. It's the only thing I could cast. I asked you nicely. Oh, I can unbutton this again because I don't have my green mask on. Let's go. I played with so much magic this past weekend. Backlight, how much? Tell me, Chris. Tell me all about it. That's a callback comedy pro. Yeah, I nailed it. I like how they took the Seraph. Oh, yeah, we're good at this game. Well, they got six cards. One, two, three, four, six. We have three, but we have three more cards here, so it's basically the same. Don't miss a land drop. Good work. Wow. Are we trading? Oh yeah. These are the heroes we need. <laughs> I don't know if they're the ones we deserve though. I don't know if we've earned these heroes. Oh, that makes sense. I remember hearing something about that. Yeah, it was uh it was a whole big thing. It was a whole to do. We 
got well, like four mana is the sweet spot for this deck, right? Like once you get to four mana, you're like. But that's just a true detective quote. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Yep, that sucks, because now you just get to play my guy next turn, and I don't have any way to do with it. No, please don't do that. All right, well. I heard recently your drafts are great, but you sing too much. How do you comment? Well, you see. Suck it. That's my, that's my response. Wow. Okay. Can we get a deputy one time? All right, well, that's a thing, I guess. What happens if we steal? We're definitely taking one of these guys. Is this mine or is this, which one's mine? How do I know? Owner me. All right, I think we take the one that's mine, right? Because I think if they kill this, we, we get it back, maybe? I don't know, magic's a hard game. Oh, it's really, it's a good game though. It's a great game. Magic is a game of strategy and Basilica haunt buddies and they have one card left and we have double Lyra. Uh, I don't foresee us having profitable attacks here, so I'm just gonna pass. Well, that's a good card, but Lyra Dawnbringer, that's also a good card. They have no cards in hand. This is nice. Let's remember. Let's try to remember that Lyra is a is a is a legendary creature. Um, that seems like a relevant distinction to make here. So, like, none of these guys can ever get past the Lyra, right? Like, that's what we're... We're in agreement with that. The problem is if we attack for five, they get a bunch of stuff going on here. I wish we could bounce a card to their hand. Wow, can you imagine? Yeah, someone in the someone in the YouTube comment was like, "Why does this guy sing so much?" Do I miss old legend rule at all? Not really. No, I think the the, the legend rule now is probably the best. You get to choose which one you want to keep. Um, I don't think we're playing the Basilica Bell Haunt here. I feel like we just have to get rid of one of the, one or the other. I I don't think hit it, having them both hit us is pretty rough. Okay, well. We got another one, I guess. An anti choir. <laughs> oh, I hope it's three lands. Just be three lands for once in my life. Just once. For once in my life. What is this, Basilica Haunt Boy again? All right, well. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play this, make you discard your last card. We can play Lyra. We can play Thief. I think we're just playing the Lyra here, because if we hit another land, we can play both of these in the same turn. No attacks. Yeah, this deck is super sweet, which explains why everyone is playing it. The highest converted mana cost. Okay, so then I discard a card. Yep. 
That was probably ours. This card isn't in their hand? I don't understand. How do you how can you tell that? I can see that it is from Thief of Sanity, but like what's the how are you how are you able to tell? I guess they're going to draw a card now. Oh wow, that's so weird. Like okay, so when there's no cards in their hand, it's really hard to tell if it's this isn't in their hand, right? Like there's no distinction. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna go to the next game. This is pretty backbreaking here. Like Thief of Sanity just gives you the best card like they that you could possibly hit, and then you just have infinite answers or Like that's super weird. It's just such a it's just a weird interaction there. Right, no, I know what you're saying, and I'm I'm trying to figure out how to figure out. I'm trying to figure out how to figure out what cards are in their hand and what cards are hit with the the thief of sanity. If you hover over the thief, does it point an arrow to the cards front? Yeah, but you shouldn't have to like do that. If I look up at their hand and I see there's two cards in their hand, I should be able to tell them immediately whether they're cards in hand or whether they're cards from like a card like Thief of Sanity. Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. If we could draw a hero land, that'd be pretty gas. Alright, I'm okay with that. Getting paid to make the additional sub and basically just watch the stream. I'm okay with it. I, I've I've enjoyed the you you having that happen. I'm actually tempted to just deputy this guy instead because if they have like mortify to kill this then they're going to be way ahead I guess we can actually just hero next turn or uh, hostage shaker next turn which is not terrible I mean I assume they're going to be able to kill this because they have yep okay what's it like to never don't have it it's pretty nice Problem is we want to connect with the. I'm just gonna play this here. I'm gonna make them deal with this. Like we're not gonna commit to the. Uh, none of these guys on board are a problem, but this is a problem for them. If they have another deputy, then our deputy is real good. Okay, so a hero into discovery. Sure. That is just fine. Here's the solution. Find a bird, tell it your secrets, feed it three fresh slices of American cheese, take a 24 minute nap, and when you wake up, nothing will have changed except that you are much closer to the keen edge of despair. What is even... What are you saying right now, Jamashi? Hmm. They have four cards. How do we m maximize the advantage we have here? I like giving Vigilance here and then just playing Deputy. I think that's good. I'm 
I'm tempted to take these two. I think it's actually might be these two. Because if we take this, we just get our thief back. But then they get like... I don't want them to go too crazy with their advantage here. I think getting thief back is great, but... I don't know. I feel like if they can kill this, they're, they're going to get two guys. I feel like they can kill this. So if they kill this, they get two guys off of the triggers from these guys if we took Thief. And we still don't get to attack with Thief. But if, but this way, they kill this and they just get their two twos back, which they were going to do anyway. They were going to have anyway, so. All right. Hermit, I am glistening with shame. <laughs> oh my god. Good times. Here we go. Mortify the hostage taker. Get back your seraph of the scales. I think we have mortifies in our deck. It's hard to tell because I haven't seen one. But I think they're in there. That is not one. Are we trading? Are we trading? Consume. Interesting. That was that was the worst card in your hand. Okay. Well. Mortify again. So many mortifies. Keep of sanity. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely taking two here because we're not gonna let this. We're not gonna like trade and then have no answer for thief of sanity. I think all spirits should have flying, so. Oh, that's just rude. You're rude. Eh, hey, joke's on you. I have a deputy that I'm going to get rid of your spirits with and then play another uh, thing from your head with I get to do that is he. Okay, well. That is your choice. That is your option as a magic player. That seemed bad. That does not seem like, a, like an ideal attack there. I'm going to keep you from getting all the cards you can and hope that we can draw one land for this Lyra, but... I'm actually going to try to hit a land here. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can actually keep it like this. If you want to block here and the one one, sure. Oh, two one ones. Okay. Why would you put the one one first? No, kill this. Oh, the six man enchantment for the mirror match seems actually pretty gas. Fine. 
We're gonna play Lyra. All right, you're in top tech mode. We can we can get a Lyra here. I mean, any one removal spell. That's fine. I don't want to play that. We're probably just going to play this. I wish Lyra had Vigilance, but... They have so many blockers. Oh, God, it's unreal. Can stay. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Have my blood pumping. All right, so we know they have isolated chapel. Gain some life here. Uh, I'd really, I'd prefer you keep the Godless Shrine up because that lets us activate Death Touch. So if you get rid of this, we have blockers all day, so I think we have enough guys that we're not super concerned with removal, like basic removal. We only have two white, not three white, so sad days. you do. Sure. Um, do I just want to attack here? Probably. Cancel. And then they attack with this, and we can actually just go double block, block here. Doesn't feel great. Yeah, that's fine. They just, they just jump block. If we had Vigilance, I would. But they're in basically top tech mode. Like, let's be real. This Thief of Sanity is never getting into deal damage against them. Nice deck. Wow. Wow. It sounds condescending, but I think it might be genuine. But then there's a creep emote. God. So many, so many conflicting signs. Well, 
That could be a thing. What's their greatest cost? The, the deputy? Well, you know what they say. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. That would be inappropriate. These are my attacks. There are many like them, but these are mine. It's nicer than any of mine, that's for sure. Yeah, well, maybe that's true. But, you know. I have no resp I have no follow-up for that. Wait, again, I did activate this, correct? Did you guys see me activate this? Oh, it deals it deals combat damage to the player. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Just ignore me. I feel bad for being this dumb. I'm so stupid. God, what's it like being this dumb? It's People ask me and I'm just like, eh, it's hard. It's definitely not easy. It's like a, it's a daily struggle, guys. This is risky because if they do manage to kill the hostage taker, they get their deputy back. But I do feel like we're pretty okay here. Someone on attack with you, you, and you. And unless your unless your last card is is just removal that blows us out here completely, then it's like, well, you know. We won the game. We're still looking for quotes, some great material there. What was the what? <laughs> All right, listen, buddy. Listen. Oh, a lightning strike. Classy. A classy lightning strike. Guys, I am real hungry right now, and I want to get some food, but I can't while we're playing Magic the Gathering. So these are the... These are the... The trials and tribulations of streaming Magic the Gathering. I'm not thrilled about it. Um, yeah, this hand is. This hand is what's known as La Gasoline. So, we're gonna do a little, little keeperino. Someone send him food and a diaper so he can never leave. <laughs> oh God, this is my life. This is the life I've chosen for myself. I have no regrets. Can I have a chicken Sunday delivered to you? Um. I wish I knew what that was. All right, come on, land. Let's do it, one time. Can you brew a deck for me right this second? No. Oh, a Jade Light Ranger, huh? Well. Okay, I get it. Oh, that was such a good that was such a good draw, guys. Wow. Do you ever cook? Not a smarmy question, just curious if you enjoy I do, I actually do cook. Um block there, I guess. We're at 13 already. This one's for Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I was actually probably gonna go get some pizza from this place called Paul's. Ooh, you're gonna give me another land? Wow. Uh, is that the only one I have? All right. One basic. We actually did go 5 0 in our. We went 5 0 in our draft, and now we're 3 0 right now, so. Yeah, what you're saying is not totally inaccurate. We can only play one card here. If we draw another land, though, we can play a uh, three drop, three drop, and two drop, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna say no attacks here. Actually, I'm gonna get in with this guy. I'm not gonna block, and if you wanna trade here, that's fine because you just don't get the other dude. Oh, 
Oh, I see. You're just gonna you're just gonna get one anyway. Okay, I understand. Now I wish I still had my my guy. My dude. Um yes, let's play this. Yeah, we could have gotten two counters. I Oh yeah, let's just get rid of the druid. Um surprisingly I don't really need you. I don't need you anymore. Watery grave, you've outlived your usefulness to me. No attacks. Let's think about this. With Phylact Phylactery Lich, you probably want to be mono black, which lets you play coffers. Is that the end? Is that the end of the Is that the end of the brainstorm sesh? You also need great artifacts like treasure map and the one mana. Are you are you being this is this a real thing you're doing right now? Is this a bit? I can't tell. What are we bringing to the instance deck? What does this deck play? A bunch of nonsense? Duress? No. Maybe this cast down and moment of craving are good? Maybe? I'm not loving Dovin Bond, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not loving him. I feel like it's a card they put in there like, let's see how good this guy is. And then they're like, oh, he's not good, but we forgot to take him out. Deck is sweet, though. I do like the rest of the deck. For Mortify, we rarely see Mortify. I can bring in one Consecrate Consume. You know, just in case. Oh, Eldest would have been good, too. Dang. You guys were too slow. You guys were too slow. I yeah okay, I'm game. So we're gonna drop this guy first. Comes into play tapped. Well, that's a good one. I literally thought I had a thought erasure in my hand. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty nice. I have no problem with either of these cards. I don't have enough rare wild cards for the Phylactery Lich deck. Well, you know what they say. Phylactery Lich in one hand. See if it wish in the other. Yeah, I don't think that's a saying. That's real mature. That's yeah, just real. You're like basically a child right now. We're gonna go to six. If they pump this guy, we go to six, they draw a card already. God, this is this card is really kind of ridiculous. It basically says pay three mana, make a four-four. Um let's block here, which forces them to do it. If we block here. Yeah, that kind of takes up their turn, which is fine. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian is no joke. We're at six life. We have a Lyra, though, so I guess that's good. But they also have, like, a thousand cards in their hand. I think their hand is, like, 1,400 cards or something ridiculous. Actually, this is pretty decent. That's the worst card in your hand? Get out of here. I'm trying to send some bits, but I need your social security and your date of birth. Address would help too. Thank you. Oh, uh, social security is 736-451912. Is that correct? I don't know if that's the right number of numbers for a social security number. I just rattled off a bunch of numbers. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have any, I don't think we have any more lands, so 
Yep, I think this deck has one basic land. This is pretty brutal. Five mana. So we can go... I think we might have just stabilized here. It was the right amount and almost too fast to feel fake. That's good. That's what we were going for there. Lots of things are happening pretty quickly here. We could have also played Thought Erasure instead, but... I like being able to just get this guy out as soon as I can. Sure. Is that the last one? Okay, good. Ritual, Incubation, Incubation, Zagana. Let's get rid of the Zagana, I think. None of these other cards are really things I care about. Uh, you can stay for sure. Do you have an extra green? You have Grave, Drowned, and you don't have a green source, right? Yeah, this is fine. Sure. Like, I can't pump mine or search. You you could. So now they're all dead. All four of them are dead. Sure. Don't top deck an answer to Lyra. Lucky, 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 lucky. Don't top deck an answer to Thief of Sanity. That was not it. That that is an it. They have to top deck it. It was already in their hand. I just don't know how magic works. I guess. So it is an answer. That's true. So it is an answer. One selling your info on the dark web, sucker buck. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, this is actually what we're hoping they would do. So now we have the deputy to take care of both of them. This is great. Magic is good stuff. Man, this, this match is a grind. Well, that's just rude. I can't see a benefit to keeping the land in hand. Zedre, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Ten months in a row. Seems good. Oh, look, it has a counter. How convenient. How convenient. Oh, land. That's actually great. That's exactly what we wanted. I feel like we were in control, and now we're like, oh, we're just going to draw mono nothing for ten turns, and it's going to be sad. The sad is coming in, coming in hot, boys. Here we go. They're gonna, yep, all right. Well, I get to draw a card because I got a little counter on my gentleman, yep. I think this is a full on, a full on female board right now. I think like, yeah, two women, 
woman, woman, woman. Magic's got their, their representation game on point. We're gonna block because you've outlived your usefulness. We're gonna draw a, a Lyra. That's not what we're looking for. They have, yeah, they're just gonna adapt this next turn and kill us. Wow, this is a, this is a uh, an emotional roller coaster. This match. Okay, so we're definitely bringing in more removal, right? Well, again, we literally saw like zero mortifies. Kind of, kind of funny, kind of funny. I don't think they brought. We're gonna bring Elder Reborn. Elder Reborn is just. I think it's better than this. Yeah, all right. I don't want to dilute my my threats too much, though. You know. rough of course now we have two mortifies i'll keep it if we hit any land any like uh shock land that's a shock land no that's not what we wanted to do magic oh god the misclicks are so real and so painful Play this guy, Mortify, go, Mortify, go. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to affect the entire game. That's brutal. Jesus wept. S same. Same, Jesus. I want to play this guy because I want to keep Deputy in for, like, when they play multiple of these idiots. Unless they just discard this, which I don't really under- I wouldn't really understand. Shut up and take my money. You done butter- you done butterfly up, A.A. Ron. I don't- You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I don't- Oh, it changed- <laughs> Okay, it changed what you really put. That's what's known as a little, uh... That's what's known as a little, uh, little filter there. Alright, well, I did done butterfly up. If we hit another land, we get two cards in one in one turn. If we get anything that's not a land, it's probably good. That's my estimation. Actually, if they if they kill our hero, we get a land. So we get the one swamp that is randomly in our deck. Oh, they just... Oh, they didn't keep it. Fascinating. Fascinating. Oh, we did hit a land. This is actually a lot of pressure we're putting on the board right now. Hero of Free Saint 1 is pretty stupid. Ritual of Soot. Ah, you kind of walked into it. The old, uh, the old, the old constructive criticism. <laughs> Congr congrats. B. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Well, at least we're not going to draw this swamp now. Yeah, Ritual of Sud is pretty insane against this deck. Um, you can go to the trash can. If we can top deck a Lyra and they don't have any removal, I think we're in really good shape. Yep, that's a good one. Well, I guess we're blocking here, because... Boy. I mean, we're not... Hmm, yeah, that's something. Maybe play better next time, butt munch? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a solid strategy. The Immortal Sun. Wow. What a, what a time to be alive. If they can't deal with these 1-1s one in 10 turns, then... Oh, Ritual Soot. That's a good one. You kept that one, huh? Okay. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Wow, we are good at this game. That is straight fire. It's less fire now. I, I got all excited. I was looking through my graveyard. What are we going to get back? You got anything good here? Ooh. Could have got this Zagana back. I mean, you probably just get Seraph. I, I can't think there's a better card. But, you know, it wasn't meant to be, guys. Ritual of Soot, get rid of the tokens. All right. Well, this is where we're at right now. Yeah, that's not ideal. Every hope, every hope is just dashed. It's 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 disheartening, but it's life. Oh, Hadana's climb, that's good. Where do these creatures come from? Who knows where creatures come from? Yeah, that's brutal. Yep, alright, that should yep, alright. We had a good run. Are we three one now? Two one, Pfft, unbelievable. When a fish love a snake woman, well, you know, it's just uh, it's just nature. keep this and hope we hit a yeah I hope we hit any untapped land on turn 2 so we can fascinating you think fish and snake love is, is kinky? that's that's kinkist that's speciesist that's lots of things not acceptable that's what it is just got the all clear close early from the owner easiest day of work ever is in the books nice what's the temperature there
I think we're already dead. One, this is going to be two, three, and this is four more, so seven. We're going to go to six. Yeah, we can beat that. That's a totally reasonable, reasonable amount of damage. Yeah, I don't feel bad about this at all. I guess we could eat this guy? That seems terrible. At least get, it got to get his trample? Why do you have trample? Why do you need that? What are the odds that this red black deck has a way to deal with a hostage taker? Come on. It's gotta be like zero, right? Oh, good game. Oh, cool, the preemptive good game. Ugh. Ugh. Negative nine without the wind chill. Jesus. Nope. Well, let me see what it is here. Forty-eight. Yep. All right. So everything that does not help me deal with this stupid idiot deck. I'm gonna take Thief of Sanity out. It does not do anything here. Uh, moment cast down. Contempt. Dovin kind of sucks. Sorry, Dovin. How many lands are in this deck? Let's find out. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 lands? It's a little low. I would have liked one more basic land in the deck. I think it, I think it could go up to 25 without any real issue. Negative 23 without Windchill. Man, you guys can keep competing. I'll just be over here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep this. I'm also gonna mute you because anytime, anytime somebody, anytime someone preemptive GGs somebody else, like you're just actual garbage. Sorry, man. No offense, but offense, offense intended. Okay. Like if your opponent goes to cast a spell and you're like, oh, good game. <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta have such a shit-eating grin on your face when you say that. Like it's, it's unbelievable. And that's my thoughts on that. It's so tilting. It's so like unexpectedly tilting. Actually, disabling emotes seems like a great idea. Oh wow, that's perfect. Oh, now I don't have to like click on my face and it doesn't do anything stupid. All right, this is nice. What can I interact with on this board? Like nothing? Do some boards have things to interact with and some some don't have anything? That's weird. It's just so condescending. It's like <laughs> good game. <laughs> it's cute that you're doing things still, but I already, I've already won. <laughs> oh god. Chain Whirler, and you don't have the mana for it. Okay. Skewer, Lightning Strike. Yeah, we're just going to take the spawn. Uh, I w do I want you? Kind of. Yeah, we can keep it on top. I think that's fine. Interesting. It's aggressive. I went outside and ate food. My soul hurts a little. Hajigashi, why? What happened? I mean, I ate food inside a place. What's happening right now? I don't understand where this conversation is, is, is leading us. Sure. No blocks. I'll take two. You have two cards in hand. Deal. Deal. 
I kind of want to. I want to. I like. I want to like undisable emotes so I can. I can GG them when I win this game. I'm gonna do it. Sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna spam it every turn. They don't do anything. Oh, got him! <laughs> oh, got him. Seems good. That was rewarding. See, and the nice thing about the preemptive GG, right, is if they don't know it's rude, then they're not going to think what you're doing is rude. But if they know it's rude, then they're going to get spiteful. Then they're going to hate it, right? So you're kind of like, it's in, a good, it's in a nice safe position where like, if they don't know any better, then you're not doing anything wrong. Oh, I already have one consume in the deck. The problem is they have a lot of burn, so if they have like, I don't want to spend like four mana on a consume if they have like a bunch of one ones. Oh uh, yeah, that seems fine. Got it. That's a hasty boy. If you missed it, I went in the cold. Don't want you thinking I'm full. What's uh what's the temperature of where you are, buddy? Judith seems great. I don't care about your other cards. Theater of Horrors actually seems great as well. Or as we can get rid of a Judith next turn. We can also get rid of Theater, I guess. Yeah, let's get rid of the Judith. Um do I keep you? I don't think so, actually. Actually, maybe. I think it's fine on top. We have enough lands. We have things to do for the next few turns. If we hit a fifth land, we can go Guy into Deputy. So they have to like spend their turn lightning helixing, which is fine. Interesting. Okay. Sure. We can deputy that dude. And then you have like nothing really in hand. I guess you can play this guy and discard your hand. What is it? Draw three? Seems good. I actually don't mind hitting a land here so we can go hero into deputy. That's an interesting choice. Hmm. So they actually have no further ways to deal damage to us? Interesting. Let's try to hit a land here.
We did not. And if they want to trade Judith for a 3-4 and then just to hit the land, that's fine. Or just hit the, the trigger. Well, Theater can for 4, right? But then they can't also cast things underneath, so... That's fine. I'll take a point. You can play something under here. Yep. You just play this guy as a guy. You have to draw a card. But then the, the dream of drawing three is gone. Sure. Interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to hit a land at this point. The top seven cards, if there's no land, wow, this is getting ridiculous. Please be a land. Alrighty then. Yep, that was pretty brutal. So we looked at we looked at three cards at the first one. We drew a card, then we looked at three more cards at the second one. So seven seven cards total with with um with no lands. I think if we hit a land, we're okay. We can go discovery, make two guys, make two guys. Chain whirler up here is pretty obnoxious, but. It's actually, them playing this now is actually fine. Alright, well, we hit a land, but it's a little little too late, and I don't really want to take two from it, so. Actually, pay four and then lightning strike something like this guy. Interesting. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, ten. We have a lot of power on the board. So that's actually what they did. Uh, actually, we can just jump block here and trade here. I like a Mortify. Uh, let's keep this guy on top. Is it play cards? You play cards. Wow, so you can go land and... Yeah, this card's very good. Here we go again. Oh, wonderful. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, decks with, uh, with lightning bolts. Anyway, 2-2. Two, two. Not the best. I would have expected better. But we got our 1,000 gold back, and we got three absolutely... Uh, 
absolutely useless on commons that we likely already have for it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And uh, you can check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.